we come into worship the Lord. Yes. Yes. And one of the precious jewels that the church is missing right now is the worship into the Lord. If you don't see that, look the apathy of the people. They don't want to get into the service. Look like we are in a theater performing for something. But I come to worship the Lord. Yes. You know, what you want to do, I want to worship the Lord. One is going to be one of my things from now on, the Spanish people, whoever. That if I am in church, I want to worship Him. Uh, some other religions, they got their own way to worship, and they doing it with their heart. Why the spiritual people like we are, we can do the same thing what they do. Some of them, they give their life. They put a few grenades or whatever, they pull a little cord, and they give their life to their God. Why can't we? We I don't. I don't ask you to do that. But giving yourself to the Lord, worship Him. Be thankful for what you have, for what is given to you. I thank to the Lord for what is given to me. Only this week, I've been going through an ordeal. I feel quite better today, and I have to thank the Lord for that. I have to thank the Lord for that. I'm still not really out of it. I'm still have to have sort of a baby food because I can't chew really well. But thank the Lord, I'm still alive, and I'm still doing well. And I have to thank the Lord for that. Thank you. Yeah. I believe every one of you got something in your heart. Yes. That you can worship the Lord and thank Him for what He's done. We got so many sick people. We pray for them. Some of them, they're coming out of the hospital. Some other, they're still there, but they will get out. Yes. And when they're coming back to the church, it looks like nothing happened. You know, I thank the Lord for whatever little thing God's given to me, heal me, or do it for me. Because I know when you go through some sickness, it's a big thing. And if you got healed you, well, come and praise the Lord and thank Him for what He's doing. Let's believe in God, because He's our God. Uh, I just want to welcome to uh, Britain and Templeton, back here, and uh, Desiree. I understand they've been watching the YouTube, so they get getting pretty familiar with the church. So, And they used to be before. Did, did you yes. used to come in before? I remember yes. you guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's good. So I'm glad to see you back in the church. got a prayer request from Sister Candy, Kernan, uh, her cousin. He had a really bad accident in Michigan. My guy even is kind of scary to say what happened to him, but a car ran over into his motorcycle and he got a multiple broken bones in his body. Only by the mercy of God he's still alive. Isn't that Sister Candy? Only by the mercy of God he's still alive. <laughs> Don't we have to thank the Lord? Don't we have to worship our God? See, that, that's my point right there. And uh, we're going to keep praying for him. His name is Shannon. And he's in, I believe, he's in critical condition right now, by the way, his accident was. Let's remember Brother Molly is in the campground, and he got a couple more uh, compromises after the campground, so let's keep pray, praying for him. And then we got so many uh, sisters, Tarina Tracy, I understand she's at home. And uh, let's keep praying for her. And Brother Tom Walker, I don't know if you'll remember that brother used to sit here. He's still having some problems with his Manatee Memorial. And um, I want you to remember Sister Digna Munoz, which is Sister Tanya back here, her mother. Tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning, is it? On Thursday, yes, at six o'clock she's going to have a surgery. So let's remember her in prayer, and then let's stay continually praying for her after the surgery. And I will take care of that later in the day. And then all the rest of the people that we have in nursing home, you know all that. And I'm so glad to see Brother Richard May back with us. Somebody was asking me yesterday, when will the preachers come in back? I said, he better be here tonight. <laughs> Thank the Lord. The Lord hear my prayer anyway. And uh, this Sunday we will have a prayer, I mean, a, yeah, prayer. Dinner in the dining hall. <laughs> we can pray in there too. And uh, 
then Saturday the 18th, I don't want to leave that for the last of the service because maybe we'll forget it, but we had the Joshua and the Ruth meeting at 9 in the morning. <clears throat> Brother Mullo wants to have all those people, uh, they have uh, intentions to work for the Lord, to get together here on Saturday at 9 in the morning. And then the same Saturday we got a bake sale after the service, I believe I saw in the parking lot. <coughs> And, and so if you all want to give me a little treat to take it home after that. And for the dinner on Sunday, brings uh, potato salad and uh, dinner rolls and dessert. Those are kind of the thing that we need for you to know uh, so Sunday you can get together with the rest of the people. I want to give you a plenty of time for the minister, for the people who want to testify, sing a song, whatever you can do for the Lord, doing it. And remember, we come in to worship the Lord. We want to give the glory. We want to, we want to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. And so everybody just feel free and take your time in the Lord. Now the last solo. 